Greetings of the day, dear learners. I am Dr. Subodh Prasad, working in the capacity of Assistant Professor at the Department of Information Technology in the Govind Ballapant University of Agriculture and Technology, Patnagar, Uttarakhand. I welcome you all in today's session. In the today's session, we will be discussing about JDBC and its introduction. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, what are the learning objectives today? The learning objectives include the introduction to JDBC, understanding about JDBC, the components of JDBC, and the usage of JDBC. So, the introduction parts begin. The JDBC, or in the full form, we know it as Java Database Connectivity. It is a Java API to connect and execute the query with the database. It is a specification from the Sun Microsystems that provides a standard abstraction API or a protocol for the Java applications to communicate with various databases. In other words, in short, we can understand it like this. Suppose we have to communicate anyway with the database. We want to put something into, into the database or we want to fetch something from the database. Then how are we going to do it? We will be going to do it with the help of this JDBC only. It provides the language with Java database connectivity standards. It is also used to write programs required to access the databases. JDBC along with the database drivers can access databases and spreadsheets also. The enterprise data stored in a relational database which is RDB can be accessed with the help of JDBC APIs. So continuing the introduction, what is the definition of JDBC? that is the J java database connectivity so the jdbc is an api now what is api api stands for application programming interface right so jdbc is an api which is used in the java java programming to interact with the databases the classes and the interfaces of jdbc allows the application to send the requests made by the users to the specified database suppose a user wants to do certain query or wants to get certain kind of data which is stored in the database then we will be using this JDBC to get that data and on the contrary the user wants to save something in the database it will again use this JDBC because it is what it is an API application programming interface now what is the purpose of JDBC the JDBC purpose is enterprise application created using the java ee now what is java ee java ee stands for java platform enterprise edition this technology need to interact with the databases to store applications or specific informations so interacting with the database requires efficient database connectivity which can be achieved by using the odbc one one what is the odbc this is the open database connectivity driver this driver is used with jdbc to interact or communicate with various kinds of databases such as the Oracle, the MS Access, the MySQL and SQL Server databases. Now moving ahead, let us understand the components of JDBC. There are generally four main components of JDBC through which it can interact with the database. They are as mentioned below. The number one is JDBC API. So what is this JDBC API? It provides various methods and interfaces for easy communication with the database. It provides two packages as follows, which contain the Java SE and Java EE platforms to exhibit WORA, which is the right ones run anywhere capabilities. So this can be shown with the help of a small example java.sql.star so this star stands for anything so java.sql.anything and then a semicolon which is a terminator it also provides a standard to connect a database to a client application this is what this is the java api which is the, again the component of jdbc now moving ahead the further components of jdbc the number two is jdbc driver manager it loads a database specific driver in an application to establish a connection with the database. It is used to make a database specific call to the database to process the user request. Right? So if the request of the user is something, so a specific request call will be initiated with the help of JDBC driver manager. Now what are the other components of JDBC? JDBC test suite is also a 
component. It is used to test the operation such as insertion, deletion, updation being performed by the JDBC driver. Again, next, what is the components of JDBC? Again, the component is JDBC ODBC bridge driver. So it connects database drivers to the database. This bridge translates the JDBC method call to the ODBC function call. It makes use of the sun.jdbc.odbc package, which includes a native library to access the ODBC characteristics. Now let us move ahead with the working of JDBC. Now the Java application that needs to communicate with the database has to be programmed using the JDBC API. Now the JDBC driver supporting the data sources such as the Oracle and the SQL server has to be added in Java application for this JDBC support which can be done dynamically at runtime. This JDBC driver intelligently communicates the respective data source. So how to use the JDBC in a Java program? The following steps we must take. The load the JDBC driver. This is the typically done using the class dot name parenthesis this method which loads the driver class into the JVM. So this JVM stands for the Java virtual machine where you will be running the Java program. The next is establishing a connection to the database. This is done using the driver manager dot get connection parenthesis this particular method which returns a connection object that represents the connection to the database. Next, next is create a statement. How do we do this? This is done using the connection dot create statement parenthesis this method which returns a statement object that can be used to execute the SQL statements against the database. Right. So next what we'll be seeing is to use the Java program, the JDBC inside the Java program. This following step must be taken. Then the execute the ex SQL st statement. This is done using the statement.execute parenthesis this particular method, which returns a Boolean indicating whether the statement executed successfully. So a Boolean means either a zero or one, or either you can say a true or a false. So wherever we say that a Boolean is returned, it means either we get a true or false. We cannot get anything third answer only a true or false or a zero or one we will be getting. The next is process the result set. If the SQL statement returns a result set, it can be processed using the result set interface, which provides methods for iterating over the rows in a result set. The next is close the connection when finished with the database. The connection dot close parenthesis this particular method should be called to close the connection and release any resources associated with it. The next is the JDBC is an important technology for Java developers who need to interact with the relational databases from their applications. It provides a standard interface for accessing databases, which makes it very easy to write the portable databases. Now we can see a very small example creating a simple JDBC application with the help of this particular example. Here we will be using all those commands that we have just seen in the previous slides. Some of them we have used, right? So this is a basic simple Java, Java, Java JDBC application. So we will start with package.com.vinag.jdbc and then the terminator. When we will import the java.sql.star that we have seen initially in the second third slide. Then we will see the public class JDBC demo. Here when parenthesis we are writing the class, the public static void, main and strict arguments. Now throws SQLE exception dot class not found exception. If, the, if there is any error, then this will hand, handle the exception. In the string driver class name, in the driver class name, this particular string class, we have seen, we have written the sun dot JDBC dot ODBC dot JDBC ODBC driver. This is the connection class. After this string URL is JDBC colon ODBC colon XC. This is again a parameter parameter passing then this string username is the Scott. After this the string password we have given is the tiger. Now the string query that we are writing is equal to is, is equal to insert into student values. Now insert into students this uh, table is name is students. So we are inserting into the table named students the values 109. 
right in the 109 we were inserting what bhat b h a t t so this bhat is what we have to insert so in this particular string query we are inserting insert into database the values 109 bhat so in the 109th sequence this bhat will get inserted so uh, we can see now what we are doing load the driver class so the class dot name driver class name by this particular statement we are loading the driver class in the next statement what we will do we will obtain a connection so how we have seen a connection is established this we had seen in the last to last slide so the connection is equal to the con in the name the name is con uh, is equal to the driver manager dot get connection then in brackets we have written url username password so these three parameters we have to pass in this connection connection class now how we will obtain a statement the statement it is st statement st is what is equal to con dot create statement connection dot which is the connection is of the name con c o n so we are passing this dot is an operator so this con dot create statement and we are obtaining a statement with the name create statement right now we will execute the query int count is equal to st dot execute now int the count is of int type and we have to execute the query the query is st dot execute update the query so in this parenthesis we can see the query is written and this query we are getting from the last slide we can see string query is what insert into the student values 109 but so over here in this execute the query part we can see that this int count is equal to st dot execute update query so this st we have got from the last slide statement st the last line is equal to con dot create statement right and then dot execute it is the execute part which we can see has been executed and updated using this query the query we can again see in the last slide the second line the string query which is equal to the insert into students values 109 comma but after this we are coming out after this that system dot out dot print ln so this print ln is the print in the new line in this we are adding the number of core rows affected by this query is equal to count plus count so this is the preprocessor count statement we will increase the value and then every time when this is get it gets populated or it gets called every time the count value will be increased by one before it is it will be in, increased by one after that it will get printed and this what we have written inside double inverted commas that is number of rows affected by this query is equal to and double quotes can that whatever it is it is is it will get printed as it is there will be no change in this after that we have, we have, we are writing what closing the connection as per the requirement with connection when it is completed what we will write we will write the con dot close so this is the con dot close parenthesis statement and after this we can see this is the complete class now with this particular example you can see that we have used each and every one of the parameter that we will be using while we are creating a jdbc connection so in short students what we are seeing here is a jdbc will help you to create a connection with the database because in every java program whenever you are touching the database you want to interact with the database you will be needing certain drivers and and in this you will be needing how different class classes you are using and how these classes will help you and how you will make the connection how will close this connection how you will make the java runtime machine run and how you will see this java virtual machine will help you in doing all your tasks and these various types of commands you are using and they will help you in different types of execution of this like this string driver class name you have seen this is sun.jdbc.odbc.jdbcodbc driver this is a very long name but then this has got a very important role so this is the driver class name because we are using this particular driver right so the various types of driver very classes of drivers how these drivers are used when these drivers are used this we will, this we will see in the next session how to use these drivers when we will be discussing about the java architecture in the next slides in the next sessions you will see 
and then you will understand it even better in more depth you will understand how this java architecture will help you jdbc architecture will help you in understanding and making a more firm understanding of this jdbc application so my dear students this was all for today in this session i thank you so very much for your time and patience in this thank you very much